Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this image split effect using HTML and CSS. So here we can see we have this image and when we hover over the image, we can see that the image is split into two. So in this video, we will see how to create this effect using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called split image and I just opened it with VS code and here we also have a folder called images and in that we have this car image. So let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. Let's name it index.html and we also need to create a CSS file. So let's click on new file. Let's name it style.css and let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you will have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here. So let's tap link and press tab. And here in the extra file, just tap style or CSS. Right now, the HTML of this design is pretty simple. We just have a container division, and in that we have two spans for these two split images. So let's create a division with the class of split image container. And in that we will have two spans. And for the spans, we will give a class of split image. And let's duplicate this because we have two parts of our image. All right, now let's go to our CSS and let's start styling this. So first of all, let's bring everything to the center. So I'll just tap body. And uh, let's just set the display to grid and place items to center. And I will also set the height to 100 viewport height. And let's also set a background color of dark gray. And let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. Right now here we can see we have this dark background color. Right now let's go back and let's target the span which will have the image. So let's type split image container, split image. And we'll set the width to 320 pixels. Now here you need to first of all know the width and the height of the image. So the width and the height of this image right now is 640 pixels and 427 pixels. So the width is 640 pixels. Now since we are splitting this image in two, we need to have half the width over here. So that's why we have set the width to 320 pixels. And let's set the height to the same as the image. So 427 pixels. So let's set the height to 427 pixels. Right now let's add a background and let's set it to URL. And let's add the link of the image over here. So let's type images forward slash car dot jpg. Now we have two spans and we need to display them one next to the other. So for that let's add display of flex to the container. So the container is uh, split image container. So let's tap split image container. And let's set the display to flex. And now here we can see we have both the spans displayed over here. Now let's also set the background size to cover. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring this image 320 pixels to the left so that it's displayed as one image like here. So let's go back to our CSS and let's target the second split image. So for that we need to type split image container, split image, colon, nth child and let's type 2 over here. So this will select the second span and here we need to set the background position x. So let's type background position x and let's set it to negative 320 pixels. And now we can see it looks like we have just one image over here but in fact there are two images but uh, we have positioned it in such a way that it looks like there is just one image. Now the next thing we need to do is when we hover over this we need to add a little bit of margin. So let's add a hover to the split image container. So let's tap split image container colon hover and let's tap split image and let's set the margin to zero for top and bottom and for left and right we will have a margin of 24 pixels. Now if you go back to our website and if I hover over this we can see that it is split into two images. Now we need to have a smooth transition. So here for the split image Let's tap transition and let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. And now we can see we have this smooth transition. 
Now we also need to add a little bit of rotation and scale and we'll also add a box shadow. So let's go back and uh, here let's type transform and let's add a scale and let's set it to 1.08 and let's also add a rotation so let's type rotate Z and let's set it to let's try 3 degrees and let's also add a box shadow so let's type box shadow and let's set it to 0 5 pixels 40 pixels negative 24 pixels and let's set the color to 00FFDD and now let's go back and now we can see we have the effect just like we expected. So that's basically how you create a split image effect using CSS. All right, that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.